Hello, viewer, and welcome to my first post commentary unscripted. Like it, so keep your distance. Yes, sir. Let's stay focused. Watch your seconds. Today, you're going to be watching a speed run of the first level of the Reach campaign on normal difficulty because I'm not that amazing. Uh, I basically just wanted to test out some routes, uh, examine some glitches, see if I could get them to work consistently. And this is pretty much the best run that I've come up with so far. Um, there's some pretty ridiculous randomness that goes on in Reach Campaign, believe it or not, as you're going to hear me explain. Now, here in the beginning, I just try to get out there as fast as possible and try to uh, bounce off these slopes as much as I can to get a little speed boost. Uh, you can get a good bounce here, but I don't quite get it. Um, Roger that. Eyes peeled. Now, the beginning is pretty boring because it's basically just making your way on a straight path. Nothing uh, technical. Uh, first thing here, you're going to see me jump through a window to save time rather than walking around. Saves maybe a second. Uh, you can completely ignore basically everything in this mission, surprisingly. Uh, just run right past it, pretty much. <laughs> Watch your motion trackers. What the hell is that? I see movement outside your structure. Now here you're going to see me uh, throw a grenade and try to pick up a plasma pistol because I'm going to need it later as you'll see. Uh, believe it or not, I have actually died at this point just because the positioning of the enemies is different each time. Uh, but fortunately, I don't even take any health damage. Now, another interesting thing, right about here, sometimes you'll get some debris from the destroyed Falcon. Um, and that has actually hit me before and totally screwed up my run. So, uh, fortunately, that only happened that one time. There's a ha health pack on the right, but I don't need it this time around. They got me zeroed! Stand down, Noble, stand down. Contact neutralized. Now at this Command. point, you're going to want to make sure you take a right here, hug the corner as much as you can, and go over the bridge. Right here, you jump up and climb up this little hill here. Now, I have a, a lot of difficulty getting up here, unfortunately, so uh, it wastes a good amount of time. Uh, yeah. But this is pretty difficult to get up here, obviously, because you're not really supposed to be able to. And uh, I need to get up here so I can get a clear shot at the Falcon, which I knocked down. The uh, driver is killed. Uh, by passing through some kind of barrier, and that actually allows me to get in the driver's seat. And this is a campaign Falcon, so it's got a gun. And now I take this route uh, to the right of the mountain, because uh, if you don't do that, then this... Uh, the name escapes me. This Covenant uh, air dropship thing. Uh, can spawn at a different place and that's really annoying and if you can't if you don't do that then you're not gonna be able to do this glitch here um, I shoot at it to make sure that it uh, recognizes that I'm here otherwise it will actually take a different path than uh, what it's gonna take now it would actually drive through the mountain 
because uh, apparently physics doesn't apply when you're not watching it. Um, and that would definitely kill you, <laughs> which has happened to me several times. And now here I'm using it to push me right through the uh, barrier, which will allow me to skip the greater part of the Noble mission. Leader, be advised, I have visual on inbound covenant options. Evac transport, keep your distance. And I'll just follow the road here. Six, hold position. Uh, right around the mountain you're going to be able to see the unloaded part of where we're going to be going. There we go, now it's loaded. Now right here, killing the uh, grunts and jackals, it is actually possible to get a killing air. Uh, I only get 9 kills because I definitely miss the grunt behind the truck. And I don't really even notice it. Um, and I dropped the falcon here because uh, sometimes the... Uh, your allies can actually jump in there and pretty much prevent you from continuing on because for some reason it just doesn't work out. They like all need to be behind the uh, the door when it closes and uh, that's not going to happen if he's just sitting in the passenger seat. Uh, here I get pretty lucky because I get to shoot grunt or two as they're dropping down just for style. Now. You can't really save a whole lot of time here. You could, uh, you basically just want to kill the enemies as fast as possible. There's a way to, uh, stay in the Falcon, basically, and, uh, you know, just go crazy shooting them all to death. But the issue with that is you're not able to get out, um, after the second dropship comes, I believe. And, um, then you obviously can't progress unless. You can get an elite to hijack you, which I saw on uh, Cody Miller's run. Uh, I have not been able to duplicate that, though, in a timely fashion. And uh, we get an audio cue, went to jump back into here. Um, I've had this go a lot faster, but uh, this is a relatively good time for them to start closing the door. right about now there you go there's not really much you can do about that to my knowledge and now you're dead and now basically it takes a long time for this door to open so you just got to wait here Then you run right over to the dead body and skip the cutscene naturally. And this will jump you right into the next section where you gotta run as fast as possible. I pretty much try to ignore the enemies. Uh, I kill only the ones that'll get in my way, like right here. Somehow I don't take, somehow I don't die doing that. And uh, I clear the area pretty well. I grab a shotgun here for killing the elites up ahead, uh, and health pack just in case. Try to kill these grunts as efficiently as possible. Now, the strange thing is, um, I can kill this guy pretty easily, and then there's another elite with a sword in that room there, and I've tried going around. Uh, to assassinate him while he's focused on whatever he is there. And unfortunately, you get stuck behind some kind of barrier, and you can't even progress. Uh, I take one last look around, make sure I killed all the enemies, hit the button, and that's pretty much the end of the mission. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this speed run. Uh, there should be some improvements happening later on. And uh, have a nice day.